Hello everyone. In today's video, I will tell you how to create a BOTAS with a mandatory subscription to partner channels. Simply put, when a person tries to log into our bot, they will be asked to subscribe to the channel of partners. The bot itself will check whether a person has subscribed to the channels or not. If not, it will remind you again that a subscription is required. In case of a successful subscription, the person will get access to the bot. Such a bot is needed to deliver materials only to subscribers, make drawings only between subscribers, and so on. There are many different templates for the bot on the site, but today we will use a bot for mandatory subscription to channels. Click Create. Insert our token and click the clown button. Now we are waiting for the status of our bot to be green. Done? Now we go to our bot and first of all copy our user interface. Now we turn to Telegram. Here we need to add our bud to the channel administrator. To do this, click administrator, add administrator, and insert the username of our bot. It is also necessary for the bot to notice our channel. You need to do some action on the channel. For example, post a post. And now we are doing the same with our partner's channel. Great, now go to the website. On the website, we go to workflow, start, and a large number of components appear in front of us. But we only need these. Here we see two actions, namely pressing the slash start button and pressing the I subscribed to all three channels button. Both of these actions lead to channel subscription verification. Let's go into editing. And we see three items. Each item is responsible for checking the subscription to its channel, that is, in the first item. We select the first channel, in the second item the second, and so on. If you have less than three channels, then you can simply delete unnecessary items. If there are more, then click Add, select the first item, and still select our channel. Then click Add. But since I have three channels, I press back. After checking the subscription, we have two scenarios. The first is that a person has subscribed to all channels. The second is that a person has not subscribed to all three channels. Let's first edit the message that will appear if a person has not subscribed to all channels. Go into editing. Here you can choose a ready-made message or write your own. But let's choose a ready-made one, but edit it a little. Here we need to insert links to our channels. Save it. Now let's edit the message that will come when a person has subscribed to all channels. And already here we insert our messages. We save everything. Now let's make a sales funnel. A sales funnel is what will push a person to buy anything in our store. In our case, a person logs into the bot and after some time, he will receive a message with a unique offer. Let's go to edit the waiting time and enter the time in minutes here. Now let's move on to editing the message which will be a unique offer. In our case, 
This message will say that a person will get access to an exclusive channel after buying an Arbad. Save it. Done. Now, after registration, a person will receive messages with a unique offer after some time, which will push him to make a purchase. Also, you probably noticed that all actions here consist of scenarios. Let's try to create our own scenario. To do this, go to the main menu management. Here we click Control, change the mod menu, and be sure to switch to the replay mod. Now we add a new button and give it a name. Done. We have added a button to our menu. Now we need to assign an action to it. To do this, go to the workflow, add an action. To do this, click plus evens. And here we enter the exact name of our button. And click add. Done. Our action has appeared. Now we need to add an event to our action. To do this, click plus. Now we go into editing it. Here we click add and add a new regular message. Here we create a new message and enter the text that the person will receive after clicking on our button. and we keep it. Great, our bot is almost ready. It remains to make the last changes, namely to change the button, I subscribed to all three channels. To do this, go to editing. Edit the message, and here we find our button, click on it and change its name. Be sure to copy the name, because we will need it. Click Change and Exit. Now go to the action that is responsible for clicking the button, I subscribed to all three channels. And here, we change this button to ours. Great, our bot is ready. Now let's see how it will look like in a telegram. Go to our bot and write slash start. Subscribe to all the channels. And click the I subscribed button. and we see that now we have access to the bot. Now let's try to press the info button. As you can see, everything works.